Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. So today we're going over real quick how you could tame yourself the Jagger mount. And you will first be able to get this mount on level 25. And that's when you can start to craft the Panther saddle here. Uh, awareness strength 25 and we find this at the bronze gear section in the knowledge technology. To be able to tame him though, you will need a medium trap and also meat to go with it. Uh, you can uh, go to the hunting gallery to search more for the jaguar here. And as you can see here, bait, you can go for any meat as you want here. And here also the capture info medium trap. And where do we find them, you might ask. And the easiest place that I found them is the, on the up top here, uh, just between the copper uh, base and the pyramid. And it's just north of the mysterious portal here. And all of the time we've been here, there's been uh, multiple jaguars running around here. And it's been the easiest place where to find them, I feel. You can, however, find them in different locations in the rainforest, but uh, this one is guaranteed. So to do this you want to find yourself some Jaguar pathings and to do this you want to press Q to scan the area and there we got one right away. So let's just continue picking those up and you will have to gather a couple of them uh, to spawn uh, a female Jaguar. Oh there it is. Female Jaguar or female panther has spawned. This does not indicate what uh, the tier of the cub will be though, so do keep that in mind. But now, as we did this, we spawned the panther here. And uh, we will wait to the panther to do this little mini game. It will hunt for some animals around it. And then we are uh, going to wait for it to return to its uh, home. And once you spawn the panther also, uh, you will get this icon on the map so you know where it is. Whoop, let's see. You have to stay a bit back or behind a object and always crouch while doing this as well. And uh, pretty cool now because we got the red uh, rarity on this panther. And let's see if we can see it over here. You can see that it's actually black. And that's one of the cool things also. If you manage to get a high tier cub, you have a chance to actually get it as a panther and not a jaguar. Uh, some uh, cool mechanics to this thing. And there we go. And it will kill uh, the tapir over there. All right. And yeah, basically, whoop. Careful. Oh, he found another animal, it seems. And yeah, you just have to wait out this, basically, for it to return home. And just keep following him until he's done. Let's follow him. And one also cool thing is, uh, depending on the rarity of uh, the cub or the panther, if it's a higher rarity, where red is going to be the highest, will determine how uh, big the jagger is going to be. Uh, just some uh, funny things as well with this uh, whole mechanic, I feel. And I'll give you an example at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Another thing with this is uh, going to be that the level that you will receive the cub with is going to be uh, on that level that you are or at the tribe member that start this whole mini game. So if you are more tribe members, uh, the highest one is uh, the best one to start this whole mini game by pressing the footprints. This will then spawn the female panther here uh, at the level that he is. And the higher level of Jaguar, the more stat it will get. Uh, kind of self-explained, but uh, yeah, there you go. It seems like the Panther has got stuck in something. I will see if we are able to get it loose. I saw some bird, right? 
not sure if it's uh, aggroing that one. Can try and shoot it down, maybe. Let's see if that helped. I think it have aggro on those tapirs, but it's not doing anything. Let's see if we can maybe kill one, see what happens. Did that help? It actually did. Okay, great. That was actually the first time that happened to me. So let's continue waiting and got aggro on the other one. got stuck once again okay so let's kill that one as well not sure if they changed this uh, as I mentioned that's the first time it actually got stuck but it seems like it's always already has been hunting right so it's uh, going to just return to home oh let's see oh we find another one there okay he got the uh, the animal and he's jumping home. Let's see or if he got stuck again. I am playing on official servers here, so I'm not sure if the panther got stuck because of lag or something. But nice that it uh, seems to work out at least. And let's see if it gets loose from this one. Maybe. Okay, there we go. We got back. And yeah, so there we go. Uh, as you can see here, the cub got uh, a rarity of green. Where the mother was a red one. So yeah, sadly, but uh, there we go. At this point, I usually want to uh, target the cub. You can uh, press the right mouse button to do so. And then I usually go and kill the mother. So let's go on and do that. This might be quite hard actually. And uh, the trick here with this is just to go in the circles. That's usually how to do so. Oh, nice roll there. Got a hit. Okay, there we go. Harvest that one. Let's see where it went. Got too many marks. Oh, there it was. And the cup is uh, quite sensitive. So what I usually do is I put down a trap quite far away. And then we want to put in some meat in this trap. And then usually go around and force it in the right direction to the trap you could also just uh, try and get close to the jagger cup here as well and uh, you do the same here place the food in and uh, the jaguar will come to you but it's so sensitive that i feel like this method is just faster than trying to uh, bait it in by itself both methods work great, this is just how I like to do it. I feel it's a little bit more faster. So the trap is right over there. We are on the opposite side and as you can see now he is sensing us. And once he sensed us, there we go. I usually roll back and go down. Oh, he got stuck in a rock, of course. Let's see if we can scare him away. Hello. Oh, there 
go. Let's go there and crouch. And now he's basically at the trap, I think. Continue crouching. And... Let's see if we can maybe get up on this rock. Oh, there it is, actually. So keep your distance. And uh, now we just have to wait for the cub to enter the trap. And there we go. We now got ourselves a new Jaguar or cub. And at this point, you just want to pick it up and then you can put it down on the ground and you can now see that you have your tame ready simply just put in some meat to it and you can either pick it up and run for yourself or you can also use a llama with a llama wicked basket on it and this makes it so you can put the cub into the llama basket here and you can ride this uh, home to your base with the llama instead of running yourself once you get down to base, just put them near a feeding trot or just put meat in them as earlier. And uh, also make sure that you have water nearby and then you just have to wait for them to grow up. And also, as I was mentioning earlier, the higher rarity of the Jaguar, the bigger they will be. So you can see here, just in comparison, this is a purple one versus that a white one. So yeah, kind of funny that they made it like that, I feel. And uh, yeah, you can have them even bigger. You can have a gold one and also a ledger one, the red one. And that's also going to be a chance of being a panther instead, so a black one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you got any other questions, feel free to drop a comment and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!